We start our broadcast tonight remembering these two girls. This is Melissa Grace and Starla May Jo Lindley. Today, these sisters would be 15 and 18 years old, but they died on March 2nd, 2018, as a result of distracted driving. The woman accused of causing their deaths pleading guilty earlier this year to two counts of manslaughter and her sentencing happening today in the 104th District Court. Shelby Buchanan accused of being on a fast food app while driving, causing the crash leading to the Lindley sisters' deaths. Judge Jeff Pro sentencing Buchanan to one year in jail, 10 years of probation, and 800 hours of community service. Nearly two days of emotional testimony and arguments leading to today's sentencing. The Lindley family releasing this statement to us following court proceedings. It reads, quote, we are relieved that this portion of this horrible journey is over, but our grief for our girls isn't over, and it never will be. We miss Melissa Grace and Starla with every breath and always will. We beg drivers everywhere to put away their phones while driving, please, please just leave your phones alone while you're on the road. That sentiment of advocacy shared by many in the courtroom with warnings of the dangers of distracted driving at the forefront, including those of the friends of the Lindley sisters who participated in Friday School, a homeschool co-op program. I, I, I think it will teach the kids that were left behind because the kids do remember the girls. I think it will teach the kids, a lot of the kids are now 15. Um, I know my daughter's going to be learning to drive this year and a lot of the girls that knew Starla and Melissa were, they're going to be driving now and so hopefully this is an example to them to pay attention and not pick up their phones while they're driving. And this case perhaps setting a precedent for alike cases, distracted driving isn't going anywhere, and arguments made in the courtroom agree that this type of case could happen again. While in the courtroom, Judge Probst acknowledging the difficulty of this case, saying there is no sentence I can pronounce that will bring these two girls back. This is a serious crime and it calls for significant punishment. Judge Probst saying he will credit Buchanan for the hours she might spend educating others about the dangers of distracted driving. During the court proceedings, Buchanan acknowledging her hope and intent to be an advocate. And continuing our coverage, this is a timeline of the case, that deadly crash happening on the morning of March 2nd, 2018. It wasn't until November of the next year that Buchanan was arrested on the manslaughter charges. Buchanan pleading guilty to both charges of manslaughter back in October before this week's sentencing. Buchanan herself taking the stand this morning along with character witnesses. The Texas Department of Transportation also keeps statistics on distracted driving crashes and last year almost one in five crashes on Texas roads were caused by a distracted driver. On average one person in the state dies every day in a distracted driving crash with thousands injured a year. We have more in-depth team coverage on the story on BigCountryHomepage.com.